I am enjoying solo leveling. <clears throat> I never read the manga or web comic, whatever it's called. But I'm enjoying the show. Very straightforward, like predictable sort of what's happening. But in a weird, in a different way. It's kind of like gangster, with, gangster show with magic or something. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm on the landscape page. Pencil eraser, hit pause, but go too fast. Start with his eyes. So center point here, come up over to the right. And then we start with top eyelid line. And go diagonal that way. Across the top. Down the back. And it's kind of different sort of anime eyes. Kind of goes in that way. And then the bottom eyelid line just sort of there. So they do look a bit square there, but it's actually because he's got these big spiky lines around his eye. So they can thicken this up a bit, and then this comes down the back and then kind of flicks out here to this sort of spiky area. Right. And then there might be like an extra line just at the front here. And an eyelid skin line just there. So, looking down at us, right? Because he looks down on everyone. And then I'm gonna just add this iris. And it's kind of oval-ish. It's not like a perfect circle. It's kind of like wider, like that way. And then his pupil, just there. And then the eyebrow line. So just kind of normal, skinny, going that way. It's a bit like thicker, just in front, like close to the nose. And then it gets skinny back there. So in the other eye, so you're about eye width, the white part of his eye now, not out to this big spike. So the white part of his eye kind of fits in between here. And then the next one starts about there. So this section will fit in there quite easily. And then we will curve this around. Right, and then it goes down. And then in and back around to the front. So we're a bit of a head tilt now. It's not like perfectly, but that's okay. It's not like perfectly horizontal. It's a little bit that way, diagonal. And then we just thicken this up. And it's black inside. Right, so looking down at us again, kind of a wide iris line. Pupil in the middle. Then eyelid, just sort of coming across that. And then eyebrow. Goes quite long and then add a space that you can just color in a little bit. So the nose is interesting. It's one of those long skinny ones. So it like goes down here 
and then it seems to go out in it's kind of curved a little bit but they, they I think they add a shadow like they add another sort of section on the side and that's like shadowed in and his mouth so he's looking all serious right so and it's two lines kind of like a dimple on the on the edge very downturned Right. And then his bottom lip, just there. His chin is real pointy then, down that way. So, in terms of spacing between things, eyebrow to nose, he like his head is kind of. We're looking up at him. Right, so eyebrow to nose will bring you to from nose to like the middle of his chin, and then there's like a little bit more. So this base is smaller than this, like chin to nose. With that, will bring it to above his eyebrows. Right, so I'd say like eyebrow to top lip, just in there, is about the same as top lip to chin, just there. Right, so that's like your halfway point between eyebrow and chin. But then the right down here is the same. So nose to bottom lip, same as like a standard human proportion. Nose to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. It's like a little optical illusion to just make it look like we're looking up at him. It's just this. This gets smaller because his head is back. And this is looks a bit bigger because it's his chin is coming out towards us. It's a bit of perspective. It's worth knowing. I think some people probably get bored and switch off when I talk, but <laughs> I think it's good for people to understand why that's smaller than this, you know, than this whole space. Because if he tilted his head forward, they'd be the same, right? Eyes to nose be about the same as nose to chin. Anyway, lecture over. Jaw goes this way. And it's not like a sharp jaw. It sort of gradually starts to curve. But you want to like see below the corner of his eye, kind of keep it in that area, across from his mouth. Right, so like there, that line. Okay. And then you'll turn and go up towards his ears, past his ears even. We meet like a bit of hair somewhere on this side. So he's got that dark fringe of his coming down around his face, right? So it's like, say hair spikes here. And we'll just start adding these. way all right so far and then And then his ears then come out here. 
side of his face. And again, they're moved further down the face because his head, we're looking up and his head is tilted back a bit. So like normally your eyes would be in line with your eyebrow and your nose in here, but we're just gonna go down a bit. All right, just keep everything consistent. Ear lines, a little letter J there. It's the easiest way to do it. But of course, more detail can always be added. And we're just gonna go hair spikes around his head and behind his neck. I guess we gotta do his neck first. So he's a long neck, in fairness. All right, and then we got those hair spikes then. So then we start to travel around the head, All right? So like if you're wondering how big you want the head to be, eyes are usually halfway down, right? And they probably roughly are in this one. So like the top of your head. So eyes are usually like halfway down from the skull, but because his head is tilted back again. So this is like halfway from here to here. So that's base and that space are about the same. So I'll give you an idea where to go with the top of that head there. And he's got a bit of a part, like a bump here. And then it spikes up down. down for a long one here. It sticks out then. And that's his hair. So then the rest of his neck and his shoulders and stuff. So his trapezius comes out that way curving, very elongated, and then neck muscles, no Adam's apple really, but maybe we'll give him one, and then t-shirt, that way, collarbone, And then he's got like a big jacket on. So. The back of it is here. It's got like a couple of like folds. So it kind of goes down that way. And then it goes in and then comes back and then down. So it's kind of a, like a complicated sort of thing. Right, it's like a folding jacket. Same thing there. And then the shoulder just a bit comes off this way. Shoulders are about head width, roughly, like the width of his face. Bring it to just the edge of the shoulder there. Male shoulders are three heads across. Female about two and a half or two and three quarter. Do and then line that way there. Okay. Sun Jing Jun Jing. Can't say it. Wu. Sun Jing Wu. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.